Hello world folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. Meghan Markle supporters are upset that the Duchess was cruelly made fun of Saturday Night Live. Fans of Meghan Markle have expressed their outrage after a sentiment on Saturday Night Live mocked the Duchess of Sussex. Comedian Michael Shea ridiculed her possible attendance at the coronation in May, joking she was being offered $19 an hour to attend as a graphic of the Duchess dressed as a maid appeared behind him. Appearing on SNL on Saturday night, she said, It was reported that the organizers of King Charles' coronation have officially invited Meghan Markle. And this is nice at a starting salary of $19 an hour. While the joke was met from laughter from the audience, Meghan's fans took to Twitter to express their anger. One Twitter user branded the segment misogynistic, writing, Notice how Michael Shea is not funny, and he never has been. Especially tonight, with his trashy, cheap shot, Megan joke, not funny. Just getting used to insult a black woman. Apologize and retract, but it's unforgivable. It's not even funny, it's just rude. Another user fumed, misogynist Ugo Michael Shea thinks misogyny is edgy. Bet in private, he says, like, why can't men have a day dedicated to them? While well, third wrote, did the writers take the week off? This episode is horrible. However, not all fans were outraged by the joke. One user called it hilarious, while another suggested that the butt of the joke was the royal family rather than Megan. This is not the first time Sussexes have been the subject of satire. In a recent episode of South Park, the cartoon satire takes aim at a prince and princess of Canada as they embark on the worldwide privacy tour. While the episode did not explicitly name the young couple, it poked fun at their alleged demands for privacy. During the episode, cartoon versions of the couple appear on Good Morning Canada while holding signs which read, Stop looking at us, and we want our privacy. When confronting the pair about hating journalists, the exacerbated TV host suggested that the Duke has become one himself, highlighting the irony of telling a tell-all memoir that includes intimate details about royal life. We just want to be normal people. All this attention so hard, the cartoon replies. When the presenter claims the prince's wife doesn't really want privacy, the outraged royal replies, How dare you, sir? My Instagram-loving wife has always wanted privacy. After storming off the set, the couple then go on to a worldwide privacy tour to France, India, and Canada, then start counting off every American state. While some fans of the show enjoyed spoofing, with one enthusiastic viewer tweeting, the South Park episode is a much-deserved and scathing reflection of Harry and Meghan's real-life self-glorification. Others were not pleased. Some criticized the cartoon's portrayal of the couple as disrespectful and offensive. And regardless of whether or not fans found the satire amusing, it's clear that the Sussexes remain a popular target for comedians and satirists alike, as they continue to make headlines and carve out their own path in the world. It seems they will continue to be a subject of public scrutiny and ridicule. So what do you guys think about this news? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.